All right, so Acer just announced a whole bunch of new devices. They have some gaming laptops, some inexpensive laptops for students and stuff. But a couple of weeks ago, they reached out and they're like, hey, we have a whole bunch of stuff coming out on June 23rd. Would you like to take a look at one? I was like, yeah, send them over. They're like, no, you, you don't get all of them. You can choose one and we can talk about that. I was like, okay, show me what you got. So I looked at the menu. They had like the Helio 700, newly updated, but we've seen that thing before, right? The sliding keyboard is awesome. And they also have that Helios 300, super popular laptop in 2019. And it was a device that I constantly recommended on my channel last year. But again, it's a device that's just been refreshed. There's some new RGB configurations and maybe some colors, but it's, it's the same thing. And then they have this new device, this Triton 300, which we've never seen in North America, but it's basically a thin and lighter gaming laptop from Acer. It's a chassis that's existed in Asia and Europe before, but they're finally bringing it into North America. So it's a cool product, but it's just like, it didn't really do it enough for me, at least not to be like the one that I want to see for this video. But then I saw this, this is the concept D3, and this is something special. So this is a 3.7 pound device. It's very light and it's a 14 inch screen, but check what this thing can do. So when you open it up, it's got this easel. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen this kind of mechanism, right? Acer has made devices that did something similar to this, but they were much bigger and heavier and just unwieldy. This is a 3.7 pound device. So this is something that I think a lot of people can just use in their regular lives. And the functionality of this screen is awesome. So it's obviously got like the regular laptop mode, right? You can put it up as a clamshell device and type on it as you normally would. But if your workflow or hobbies can make use of a tilting and angling and easel like screen like this, this device can do it. And here's the thing, it's equipped with an Intel six core processor, like not one of those like chintzy, you know, 15 watt processors, but a 45 watt H processor from Intel, like a big boy processor and a GTX 1650 Ti in a 3.7 pound package. Like, come on, how cool is that? I actually think this is going to be a device that a lot of people can actually make use of in their practical lives. If you're a student or if you're a digital illustrator or a video editor, this can handle it. The processor and GPU in here is more than capable for like the vast majority of stuff that's going on out there. Uh, in the creative fields. It also has a built-in SD card reader, full-size one, how good is that? And I didn't realize this when I first got the machine. Like I got it and I was like, hey, why didn't they send me a pen? Because like, you know, they don't have pens and I was trying all of my, you know, like Microsoft Surface pens, they all work. But then I realized as I was looking around on this device, it has a built-in mini pen. I say mini because it's a lot thinner than most other active pens on the market, but it works perfectly well. I do prefer the girth, girth. I do prefer the girth of a regular pen, but I don't know, this thing works in a pinch and it stores right inside the machine so you can't ever lose it. And it is charged when it's inserted into the device. This is not something that's just a prototype from them, right? It's a legitimate product that's coming out in August, I believe. It starts at $1,500, not super cheap, but considering how functional it is and how Nicely, this would carry on into careers, like if you're a student and like just what you can do with it after you come out of school, I think it's pretty cool. It comes in this nice white magnesium alloy chassis and the color isn't just painted on. It's this oxidization process that they've used. They've done this in the past, but it makes it just more durable than a regular paint job or just a regular uh, anodization on aluminum. It feels like stain and chip resistant. And the backlighting on the keyboard is this orange color that they have on most of their Concept D devices. And I think it's a pretty cool look. So that's the Concept D3 easel. I'm gonna be doing reviews of this thing and most of the more interesting devices that they put out today. So yeah, stay tuned for those. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time. If you're wondering why I didn't do a review on this, I can't. This is like an early engineering sample. It's functional, but We'll wait for the retail unit.